सदाशिव समारोहम शंकराचार्य मध्यम स्वलाचार्य पर्यता वंदे गुरु परंपरा श्रीदेशमृति पुराण आलय कृणाल नमा भगवत्द शंकर लोकशंकर शंकर शंकराचार्य केशव बादरायण सूत्र भाष्यकृत वंदे भगवत पुनः पुनः ईश्वर गुरुरात्मे मूर्ति भेद विभागिने व्योमद्याप्तदेहाय दक्षिणाूर्त नम सहनावतु सहनौनक्त सह वीरकर्वाह तेजस्वीतमस्तमा वह ओं शातिदातिदाग्चनोति तस्म तगुंहदेव मतुदि प्रकाशम मुक्षुर वै शरण हम प्रपद्ये ओं शातिशाति आमनायांत्रिक संसिद्ध आदि मध्यांतर्जित आनंदघन आपूर्ण आत्मज्योतिरुपास्मे Just give me a moment. Let me close the window. It looks like sparrows are having a meeting. Okay. So, yeah, just to make a correction on the the book there. Typo that I had made. So here, yadwa ane katra karmani ekasya pratipatti he anga bhava tasse loke darshanat. Then yatha bahuvir namaskruvaane hi yoga pad eko brahmana namaskriya manha drishte tadvadityartha. So that brahmana. Was not in the earlier sentence. It is in the next sentence. So I have corrected in the book, the PDF. I mean, so then the next sutra is introduced by the Vritti as Nanu Mastu Karmani Virodha. Shabde Sya Ditya Siddhi Ashankya Aha. So the earlier sutra, in the earlier sutra, there was an objection. We are what we are looking at is Devata Adi Karanam. In the Devata Adi Karanam. do the devatas have adhikara in jnana or not that is the that is being contested the siddhanti has said yes devatas have adhikara tad upari api badarayana sambhavat so badarayana rishi says that it is possible for anyone with manushya upadhi and above manushya upadhi anyway we know from अधिकारित्वम बाय साधन से तुष्ट संपत्ति इत्यादि एंड इन वेदास बाय बीइंग अ त्रिवर्णिक त्रिवर्णिक इत्यादि हाउएवर अबोधि मनुष्य उपाधि इज देयर अधिकार इन ज्ञान एंड बाय ज्ञान विद्या दी कर्मकांड इज आल्सो इंक्लूडेड बट मोस्टली उपासनास विल बी डिस्कस्ड because vidya brahma vidya as jnana brahma jnana or brahma vidya where vidya means upasana do they have adhikara and vidya is a general term across jnana and upasana and it need not be only related to brahma because when it goes to upasana it need not be only brahma upasana it can be any upasana so broadly do the devatas have adhikara in vedas at all or not so badarayana maharshi says yes it is there there is adhikara for anyone above manushya upadi also so devatas now virodha karmani iti chet the objection was if at all there is adhikara for devatas then in karma in vaidika karma when the indradi devatas have to be present with one upadhi limited upadhi because they have vigraha they cannot be there in multiple places so that is the virodha iti chet na aneka pratipatter darshanat it has been seen anga bhava there is they can associate with many vigrahas associate or they can take many forms rather it has been seen by ekada bhavati tridha bhavati अनेकदा भवती इत्यादि मंत्रास एस 
ಪ್ರಮಾಣ ಇತ್ಯಾದಿ ವಾಕ್ಯ ದಾಸ್ ಪ್ರಮಾಣ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಹೌ ಇಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಪಾಸಿಬಲ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ದ ವೇ ಅ ಸಿಂಗಲ್ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಟೇಕ್ ಮಲ್ಟಿಪಲ್ ನಮಸ್ಕಾರ ಸೋ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಇಂದ್ರಾದಿ ದೇವತಾಸ್ ಟೇಕ್ ಮಲ್ಟಿಪಲ್ ಆಹುತಿ ಸೈಮಲ್ಟೇನಿಯಸ್ಲಿ ಯುಗಪಾತ್ ನಾವು ಇಫ್ ಎಟ್ ಆಲ್ ದೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ನೋ ವಿರೋಧ ಇನ್ ಕರ್ಮ ಪೂರ್ವ ಪಕ್ಷಿ ಇಸ್ ಓಕೆ ನಾನು ಮಾಸ್ತು ಮಾಸ್ತು ಕರ್ ಕರ್ಮಣಿ ವಿರೋಧ ಮಾಸ್ತು ಬೈ ಹ್ಯಾವಿಂಗ್ ವಿಗ್ರಹ ಲೆಟ್ ದೇರ್ ಬಿ ನೋ ವಿರೋಧ ಇನ್ ಕರ್ಮ ವೈದಿಕ ಕರ್ಮ ಲೆಟ್ ಸೇ ಇಂದ್ರಾದಿ ದೇವತಾಸ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಬಿ ಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟ್ ಅಟ್ ಮಲ್ಟಿಪಲ್ ಪ್ಲೇಸಸ್ ಆರ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಪಾರ್ಟಿಸಿಪೇಟ್ ಈವನ್ ವಿತ್ ಅ ಸಿಂಗಲ್ ವಿಗ್ರಹ ಇನ್ ಮಲ್ಟಿಪಲ್ ಯಾಗಾಸ್ ಬಟ್ ಶಬ್ದ ಸ್ಯಾತ್ ಶಬ್ದ ಕಿಂ ಸ್ಯಾತ್ ವಿರೋಧ ಶಬ್ದ ವಿರೋಧ ಸ್ಯಾತ್ ಇತಿ ಆಶಂಕ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದಿ ವಿರೋಧ ಇನ್ ಶಬ್ದ ದಿ ವೈದಿಕ ಶಬ್ದ ವೇದವಾಕ್ಯ ಇನ್ ದಟ್ ದೇರ್ ಬಿ ವಿರೋಧ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದಿ ವಿರೋಧ ದಿ ಮೀಮಾಂಸಕ ಸೇಸ್ ದಟ್ ದಿ ಶಬ್ದ ಮೀನಿಂಗ್ ಪದ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಶಬ್ದಾರ್ಥ ಮೀನಿಂಗ್ ಪದಾರ್ಥ ಸೊ ಪದ ಪದಾರ್ಥಯೋ ನಿತ್ಯ ಸಂಬಂಧ ದೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ನಿತ್ಯ ಸಂಬಂಧ ಬಿಟ್ವೀನ್ ಪದ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಪದಾರ್ಥ ನಾವು ಇಫ್ ಎಟ್ ಆಲ್ ಯುವರ್ ದೇವತಾ ಸಾಹೇವ್ ವಿಗ್ರಹಸ್ ದೇ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ಸ್ ದೆನ್ ವಾಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪನ್ ದಿ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ಸ್ ಕೆ ನಾಟ್ ಬಿ ನಿತ್ಯ ದೇ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಅನಿತ್ಯ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದೀಸ್ ದೇವತಾಸ್ ಆರ್ ಡಿಸ್ಕಸ್ ಇನ್ ದಿ ವೇದ ಸೊ ವೇದವಾಕ್ಯಾಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ಟಾಕ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ದೇವತಾಸ್ ಇಂದ್ರಾದಿ ದೇವತಾಸ್ ದಿ ಶಬ್ದಾಸ್ ಆರ್ ನಿತ್ಯ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ವೇದ ಇಸ್ ನಿತ್ಯ ನೌ ದಿ ಶಬ್ದ ವೇದ ಬೀಂಗ್ ನಿತ್ಯ ದಿ ದೇವತಾದಿ ಇಂದ್ರಾದಿ ದೇವತಾ ಶಬ್ದಾಸ್ ಆರ್ ನಿತ್ಯ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಯುವರ್ ದೇವತಾಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ಆರ್ ಶಬ್ದಾರ್ಥಾಸ್ ಪದಾರ್ಥಾಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದೋಸ್ ಪದಾಸ್ ವೈದಿಕ ವಾಕ್ಯಗತ ಪದಾಸ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಅನಿತ್ಯ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ದಿ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ಸ್ ಕೆ ನಾಟ್ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಫಾರ್ ಎವರ್ ದೇರ್ ಫೋರ್ ದಿ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ಸ್ ವಿಲ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಹ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಎಂಡ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಎನ್ ಎಂಡ್ ಇಂದ್ರಾದಿ ದೇವತಾಸ್ ವಿಲ್ ಕಮ್ ಟು ಎನ್ ಎಂಡ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ದಿ ವಿಗ್ರಹಾಸ್ ಆರ್ ಲಿಮಿಟೆಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಇಫ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಅನಿತ್ಯ ಇಫ್ ಎಟ್ ಆಲ್ ದೇ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ಸ್ ದೆನ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಅನಿತ್ಯ ಸೊ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ದಟ್ ಇಫ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಅನಿತ್ಯ ಸೊ ಇಫ್ ದಿ ಶರೀರ ಈಸ್ ಅನಿತ್ ಸಿನ್ಸ್ ದಿ ಶರೀರ ಈಸ್ ಅನಿತ್ ಅನಿತ್ಯ ದೇವತಾದಿ ವಿಗ್ರಹಾಸ್ ಆರ್ ಅನಿತ್ಯ ದೆನ್ ದಿ ಆಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಇಸ್ ಸಿನ್ಸ್ ದಿ ವಿಗ್ರಹಾಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದೇವತಾಸ್ ಆರ್ ಅನಿತ್ಯ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದೇವತಾದಿ ಶಬ್ದಾಸ್ ದೇವ ಇಂದ್ರಾದಿ ದೇವತಾ ಶಬ್ದಾಸ್ ಇನ್ ದಿ ವೇದಾಸ್ ಆರ್ ನಿತ್ಯ ದಿ ನಿತ್ಯ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಅನಿತ್ಯ ಕೆ ನಾಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಅ ಸಂಬಂಧ ವಿಚ್ ಈಸ್ ಅನಿತ್ಯ ವಿಚ್ ಈಸ್ ನಿತ್ಯ ಸೊ ಪದ ಪದಾರ್ಥೆಯೋ ಶಬ್ದ ಶಬ್ದಾರ್ಥೆಯೋ ನಿತ್ಯ ಸಂಬಂಧ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಯುವರ್ ಶಬ್ದ ಈಸ್ ನಿತ್ಯ ಶಬ್ದಾರ್ಥ ಈಸ್ ಅನಿತ್ಯ ಹೌ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ದೇರ್ ಬಿ ನಿತ್ಯ ಸಂಬಂಧ ವೇರ್ ಆಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಹಾಸ್ ಆಲ್ರೆಡಿ ಬೀನ್ ಎಸ್ಟಾಬ್ಲಿಷ್ಡ್ ಬೈ ಪೂರ್ವ ಮೀಮಾಂಸಕಾಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ಯು ದಿ ಉತ್ತರ ಮೀಮಾಂಸಕ ಎಗ್ರೀಸ್ ವಿತ್ ದಟ್ ಪದ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಪದಾರ್ಥ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ನಿತ್ಯ ಸಂಬಂಧ ಪದ ಈಸ್ ನಿತ್ಯ ವೇದಗತ ಪದ ಈಸ್ ಡೆಫಿನೆಟ್ಲಿ ನಿತ್ಯ ದೆನ್ ಹೌ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ದೇರ್ ಬಿ ನಿತ್ಯ ಸಂಬಂಧ ಬಿಟ್ವೀನ್ ನಿತ್ಯ ಪದ ಶಬ್ದ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಅನಿತ್ಯ ಪದಾರ್ಥ ಶಬ್ದಾರ್ಥ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಕಾಂಟೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ದೇವತ ಸೊ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದಿ ವಿರೋಧ ಸೊ ಶಬ್ದ ಸ್ಯಾದ್ ವಿರೋಧ ಸ್ಯಾದ್ ಇದು ಆಶಂಕ ಆಹ ದಿ ಸೂತ್ರಕಾರ ಗಿವ್ ದ ರೆಸ್ಪಾನ್ಸ್ ಸೇಯಿಂಗ್ ಶಬ್ದ ಇದು ಚೇನ್ ನ ಅತಃ ಪ್ರಭಾತ್ ಪ್ರತ್ಯಕ್ಷಾನುಮಾನಾಭ್ಯಾಂ ಶಬ್ದ ಇದು ಚೇನ್ ನ ಅತಃ ಪ್ರಭಾತ್ ಪ್ರತ್ಯಕ್ಷಾನುಮಾನಾಭ್ಯಾಂ ಸೊ ಶಬ್ದ ದಿ ಶಬ್ದ ಶಬ್ದ ಇದು ಚೇತ್ ನ ಅತಃ ಪ್ರಭಾವ
you have to infer a shruti you have to think that there used to be such a shruti which is lost in tradition right now it has it is not found but since this smriti exists and since this smriti is based on all smritis are based on some shruti or multiple shrutis therefore a similar shruti did exist sen so, anumana that such a thing existed and pratyaksha shruti pratyaksha shruti is there then anyway we don't need anumana you don't need to go to smriti so that's how we understand pratyaksha shruti and anumana as smriti just like the puro vimamsaka six pramanas you know, shruti linga ityadi so there also you have to imagine the earlier we have seen in the earlier part also so pratyaksha means shruti and anumana means smriti so what is the sutra artha shabde virodha iti chet the earlier sutra word virodha has to be brought down as anuvrutti so shabde virodha syat iti chet na so puro pakshi we have seen what is the puro paksha shabde virodha syat iti chet na siddhanti says na there is no virodha why atah prabhavat atah is atah asmat shabdat prabhavat so since the prabhava prabhava means utpatti since the utpatti of the entire prapancha including indradi devatas is from this shabda alone there can be no virodha with shabda the ghata cannot have a virodha with mrut so since the devatas have also had janma from vedas veda shabdas therefore there can be no virodha with shabda how so we'll see in the vritti but this is the sutra artha how there is no virodha just because there is shabda utpatti first of all how is there shabda utpatti that is the first question that should come to the mind that would come to the mind not necessarily should but would come to the mind and then if at all there is utpatti of devatadi because they belong in the prapancha which is srishta prapancha and the srishti has taken place from ved vaidika shabda from vedas basically therefore there is no virodha how can there be no virodha although we can give an example and say as we saw that there ke, there is no virodha of ghata with mrut but it is not a satisfying answer in this context so the vritti will explain as to what is the meaning there so pratyaksha and anumana answer the first question as to how do you say that there is devatadi utpatti from shabda because earlier what have you said you have started your brahma sutra by saying janma adyasyataha so janmadi is not from shabda initially your opening statement was that the utpatti janma of the entire prapancha including these indradi devatas is from what it is from brahma and now you are saying it is from shabda so what is it really you are you are going against your own pratidnya therefore if there is a question we say there is no virodha there is no such uh, going against our own pratidnya because there is a shruti pratyaksha shruti is there and anumana is also there meaning smriti is also there in the pramanas we don't need anumana if you have pratyaksha pramana you don't need anumana pramana but anumana pramana can also be supplied even if you have pratyaksha why dridikaranaya to make it very firm if at all there is uncertainty in pratyaksha of something which is at a great distance so person next to you does not know whether what you are seeing is right then that can cause doubt in your mind also so anumana can make it firm no it is it has to be what i am seeing it has to be right similarly in shruti also if you if shraddha in shruti is 
little jittery or your understanding of the shruti is a little jittery because one shruti says something the other shruti says something else we are not sure which is the tatparya vishaya then smriti helps we have seen this earlier when shruti should be referred to even if there is shruti available you don't need it but in such scenarios one may have to refer to it and we have seen it multiple times in the sutras also as the smriti is also quoted as pramana in, in bhashya also even if shruti is there smriti is also quoted therefore this is a pramana now the second question that comes to mind as to how if at all shabdad utpatti is there this prabhavat is a hetu utpatte he ityartha panchami ekvachana hetu panchami so shabde virodha is not there why because ata shabdat asmat shabdat prabhavat shabdatah atah shabdatah aur asmat shabdat prabhavat इंद्रादि देवता प्रभवात् सो शब्दे वेदवाक्ये अनित्य विग्रहवत् देवादेहे सो दिस व्हाट इज नॉट वथिंग हियर इट इज मतुप सो अनित्य विग्रहवत् देवादेहे सिंगल वर्ड नित्य वेदार्थत्वांगी कारे शब्दस्य अर्थेन स नित्य संबंधा भावेन नित्य अनित्य संयोग विरोधः इति चेत् No. Siddhanti says no. So the question is Shabde means Veda Vakya. Unto Veda Vakya there is Virodha. This is the objection. And what is the Virodha we have seen? Anitya Vigraha Vat Deva Dehe. The Devatas, Indradi Devatas and others also who have Anitya Vigraha. So Anitya Vigraha Vat means Anitya Vigraha येषाम अस्ति और अनित्य विग्रह येषाम संति इति अनित्य विग्रहवत हु आर दे देवादे सो देवादे हे अनित्य विग्रहवत देवादे हे नित्य वेदार्थत्वांगी कारे ऑफ दीस देवतास एंड अदर्स हु आर एंडोर्ड विथ impermanent bodies whether it is one body or multiple bodies is irrelevant now you have agreed you the siddhanti has agreed that indra these devatas have one body at least and you have resolved the question as to how can indra indra the devatas with a single body attain multiple or take offerings from multiple yagas so that is a question that we have left behind but since you have agreed that there is one or multiple vigrahas for the indradi devata simultaneously there can be multiple there can be one also but if at all there is a vigraha that vigraha is impermanent it is a temporary vigraha temporary in the sense it will there will be utpatti at nasha of this vigraha then what will happen nitya veda arthatva angikare this we know that padas are nitya and padarthas have nitya sambandha with this nitya pada having accepted that what happens sati saptami angikare sati shabdasya arthena sa nitya sambandha abhavena so pada is nitya padartha is anitya how can you have nitya sambandha therefore there is nitya sambandha abhava nitya sambandha abhavena nitya nitya sanyoga virodha since there is sambandha abhava nitya sambandha abhava sambandha is there but nitya sambandha abhava is there therefore nitya na nitya sanyoga virodha is there there can be no sanyoga between nitya and anitya iti chet na siddhanti says no why atah prabhavat due to utpatti from this shabda devadehe prapanchagata devadehe ataha prabhavat since there is utpatti of these devatas also from the same shabda vaidika shabda ataha eva 
he vaidika vaidika shabdat from the vaidika shabda there is utpatti prabhavat utpatti utpatti of whom devadi jagat prabhavat so ata ata prabhavat means ata eva he vaidika shabda devadi jagat prabhavat utpatti he because the devadi have also come from vaidika shabda only just like this prapancha entire prapancha jagat jagat is what it is it includes devadi so deva ityadi are also part of jagat jagat has come from vaidika shabda so has deva devadi also so tat katham tat prabhavatvam devadehe puro pakshyas how do you say that devadi have come up from vaidika shabda pratyakshanumanabhyam meaning shruti smriti bhyam shruti from shruti and smriti as pramana we see that devatadi utpatti jagad utpatti is from vaidika shabda what are those shruti and smriti so they are quoted ath uh, sorry eta iti vai prajapati devana srujat ityadika shruti hi ved shabde bih evadau ityadika smriti hi so shruti and smriti both are quoted as to prajapati hi devan asrujat prajapati brahma chaturmukha brahma asrujat he created whom devan so there is a clinching argument that shruti gives uh, the uh, siddhanti gives by quoting shruti as to prajapati hi devan asrujat but then using what so eta iti ete iti by saying ete iti ete iti is there it is quoting a shabda so ete this ete shabda have been used by the shruti to say that how did prajapati create the devas by saying ete iti vai indeed by stating ete he created devan asrujat so what ete these let there be so he just had has to say ete from that shabda these ete devaha he just had to recollect and bring that jnana into his mind of the earlier srushti really ete devaha that is the meaning devaha the pronoun ete stands for that and then devan asrujat so by shabda there has been srushti through from shabda from these ete shabda the devas have been created and then veda shabdebhya eva adau veda shabdebhya is the smriti which has this shruti these kind of shrutis as basis ete is a shabda because ete has been used and from that there was a srushti of devas therefore veda shabdebhya is the artha that has been derived in the shruti also in anumana so veda shabdebhya eva adau ityadika smriti and there are such shrutis and smritis which really state that there has been srushti of this entire prapancha from veda shabda tabhyam nitya shabda prabhavatvam devadeh avagamyate now if the shruti says that shab the devatas have come up from shabda the shabda is nitya so tabhyam nitya shabda prabhavatvam tabhyam shruti smriti bhyam pratyaksha anumana bhyam shruti smriti bhyam nitya shabda prabhavatvam that the devatas have come up from nitya shabda it is known avagamyate evanche deva devadi vyaktyutpattav api now the puro pakshi says that okay you answered the first question as to how is there utpatti of devatas from shabda veda shabda you have quoted shruti now the question is how is it that there is nityatvam 
how does it answer the question of nitya sambandha between nitya padartha and anitya nitya pada and anitya padartha nitya pada devadi pada and nitya anitya devadi vigraha which is shabdartha padartha how can there be nitya sambandha between these two so there the siddhanti answers when the mimamsaka when the uttara mimamsaka agrees with purva mimamsaka that there is nitya sambandha between pada padartha and what mimamsaka also means is not literally the vigraha that you see the shabda artha shabda artha padartha that you see that is nitya because nobody will say ghatapatadi prapancha is nitya one may say pravaha nityatvam maya is also nitya when we say we don't mean maya is nitya like brahma is nitya we say maya is mithya prapancha is mithya not nitya so when we say nitya also because maya is also said to be nitya but pravaha nityatvam there is pravaha nityatvam similarly being utpanna from prapancha being utpanna from maya from maya as upadana karana from ishwara who has maya as his shakti that maya which is anumeya which has been inferred this prapancha also has some kind of nityatvam because you see this prapancha being there forever even after us the prapancha will be there and the aneka jeevavadi will say if one or 100 jeevas or 1000 jeevas or whatever number have you that number won't be infinite even if you have so many jnanis still the prapancha will continue because there are other ajnanis so what about that prapancha which goes across kalpas is it nitya we say it has pravaha nityatvam because maya has pravaha nityatvam that nityatvam is different from the nitya nityatvam of brahma brahma is the only entity existing that is nitya entity sachidananda ananta that ananta brahma is to be differentiated from the other nityas the nityatvam of brahma is different from other nityatvams that we talk about all those nityas other than brahma nitya are pravaha nitya if at all if at all there is some kind of nityatvam which is discussed in the shastra it is all pravaha nityatvam means in a flow in a series you see that comes up and goes but there is agantukatvam there is definitely agantukatvam there is coming and going they come up and they cease to be nasha adarshane so there is nasha there is adarshana there is darshana for a while a good while maybe and there is adarshana maybe for a short while also so we think that there is continuity just like a movie being shown which is set of pictures and if you show it at a speed higher than 8 frames per second the eye cannot make out a difference with things that there is there is movement such movement does not exist there is nothing called a movie in in the sense that there is movement but it is just moving pictures so earlier they used to call this this movies are what moving pictures movie is a short form of that so they are just pictures they are not really moving what is moving pictures they appear to be moving similarly here there is an appearance of nityatvam because in the flow you see something similar so you see something which is not there now this this is a background for multiple sutras which where the discussion is going to come up in this manner so veda shabdebhya eva adu ityadika smruti hi and tabhyam nitya shabda prabhavatvam devade ravagamyate now the purva pakshi se evancha to answer to the purva pakshi who says that okay devade he nitya shabda prabhavatvam avagamyate i agree with purva pakshi says okay you have quoted enough pramana 
now even if there is nitya shabda pravartam of devadi how do you answer my objection that the sambandha between nitya and anitya cannot be nitya there we are saying that padartha devadi are not anitya what you are talking about as vigraha being anitya one vigraha that you see one indra that you see sometime is anitya we are not talking about that sambandha purva mimamsaka is also not talking about that sambandha as anitya because indra vigraha was also indra may live for how many years from human standard from the uh, karma bhumi standard he may live long 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 number of years brahma's chaturmuga brahma has a life span of 100 years not from our perspective the time that ticks there so 100 years as per the years in brahma loka which is across if you all are aware of the calculation in the puranas as to multiple chaturyugas will have passed kalpa a kalpa has to pass so when that mahapralaya takes place he will live that long then there will be srishti again so we are not talking about that upadhi as being nitya upadhi is not the padartha really what is the padartha so coming back to tarka tarka shastra when we say that ghata is seen when you say ghatam pashya you tell someone ghatam pashya so he looks at a ghata and if he has seen ghata for the first time let take let's take a different example than ghata because let's say a child is being taught and the mother shows the child asks what is this he looks at a cow he has never seen a cow before the mother says esha gau hu it's a cow so she she says gau and then he gets this go shabda as in gau he understands gau stands for the cow so pada padartha sambandha he has understood now because pada and padartha he has seen pada he has heard padartha he has seen so pada padartha sambandha should be set in his mind because he has seen a brown cow now let's say his father takes him outside for a walk or to a shop and while passing he looks at a white cow and a black cow and he tells his dad oh look at this look at the cow so go who go who he says now how has he understood that the pinda that he sees the animal the body that he sees while going with his father how does he know that it is a cow which is a go padartha gauhu iti padartha how does he know that because the color is different so shape is same something he has seen in the earlier brown cow and he got the knowledge about the different colored cow as well in the earlier instance itself he has got that otherwise he cannot recognize the black and the white cow the white, black and the white pinda vigraha as cow so now this sambandha which is nitya between pada and padartha is not the earlier padartha that he saw with the vigraha that vigraha he did not understand as as cow not he did not understand that vigraha only as cow only has to be added there so it is not that the brown colored entity that he saw that form that he saw he is the cow there is something more that took place so what does the tarkika say he says when the ghata is seen the ghatatva is understood so by the ghata pada what it really means is ghatatvam meaning that ghatatva which is there as dharma will say it as dharma guna the dharma which is there in which is samanya in all ghatas so there is some alaukika sannikarsha that has taken place whereby he has understood when one knows ghata he knows 
ghatatva meaning there is ghata darshana all ghatas that ghatatva in all ghatas is understood with a single ghata sannikarsha the chakshur indriya sannikarsha there similarly when this kid saw this gau the brown cow he came to know all other cows also because he has cognized gotvam by gau who by understanding gau he understood gotvam and what is this gotvam really that is discussed here as to evanch devadi vyaktyutpattau api if at all devadi vyakti vyakti is that individual vigraha that is utpanna why because there is utpatti and nasha of those vigrahas so vyakti utpatti and nasha is there we do not disagree with that in fact we agree with it but what we are saying is that that is not the padartha where there is nitya sambandha of the devadi pada in the vedas so when this devan asrujata this devan shabda does not have this deva deva pratipadika if you look at deva this nitya this shabda is nitya but does not have nitya sambandha with this devadi vyakti deva vyakti but these devadi vyakti which are utpatti and nasha they are just manifestations of some akruti akruti vishesha that akruti vishesha is nitya and the pada has sambandha with that akruti vishesha ghatapatadi gavadi there is akruti vishesha similarly devadi there is akruti vishesha with which the padas which are nitya have nitya sambandha which is possible because the akruti is nitya the manifestation from that akruti a sampling is anitya but the sambandha is not with that anitya vyakti so even the devadi vyaktutpavuttav api even if there is utpatti of the vyaktis individual devadi which are vigrahas tannishta nityakrutehe vedarthatva tat sambandho nitya iti aviruddham even so even if the vyaktis which are utpanna still the utpatti is of that which is from an akruti which has an akruti that akruti is nitya so tannishta tannishta is devadi nishta nitya akrute hey, there is akruti which is nitya even if the devadi bodies cease to be akruti will remain from which there will be utpatti again and again nasha again and again not from which in that shape and so you can take akruti as that shape or however you want to understand it that is the nitya padartha so tannishta nitya akruti he vedarthatva so vedartha is what vedartha is padartha veda shabdartha padartha is akruti not devadi vyakti so devadi akruti is nitya and those who have studied western philosophy you will see this in uh, i think uh, works of plato perhaps if i recall right so plato also says that akruti is nitya and when i say also okay i am not saying that plato says and we have borrowed i am saying they are inspired from vedika philosophies the offshoots of you know philosophies from vedas they pervade all the way into greek and western philosophies other western philosophies so vedarthatvat ak nitya akrute he vedarthatvat there is no issue with the nitya shabda having nitya sambandha with nitya akruti so bhavatu nama devadi vyakti nam anityatvam says the siddhanti but akrute he nityatvat and vedarthatvat therefore sambandha tat sambandha is what sambandha with the of the shabdas with the nitya akruti is nitya nitya iti aviruddham there is no such issue that you point out this is sutra nanu evam api atah pravahat iti devadeir veda pravahatvoktya tad utpat tad utpadaka vedasya api pravah prasangad anitya anityatto ashankya just give me a moment please <coughs> sorry so nanu eva api the puro pakshi says eva api atah prabhavat when you say atah prabhavat 
ಶಬ್ದತಃ ಪ್ರಭವಾತ್ ವೈದಿಕ ಶಬ್ದತಃ ಪ್ರಭವಾತ್ ಇತಿ ದೇವಾದೇ ವೇದ ಪ್ರಭವತ್ವೋಕ್ತ ಥ್ರೂ ದಿ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ದಟ್ ದೇವಾದೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ಬಾರ್ನ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ವೇದಾಸ್ ದೆನ್ ವಾಟ್ ತತ್ ಉತ್ಪಾದಕ ವೇದಸ್ಯಾಪಿ ದಿ ದೇವಾದೀಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಕಮ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ವೇದಾಸ್ ವೇದ ಶಬ್ದ then the vedas which are the source of utpadaka source of this devadi that ved also vedasya api prabho prasangad anityatvam ashankhya ah so puropakshi says that you are taking cue to what you are saying that the akruti of devas are nitya the devas are utpanna from vedas you are saying that akruti is nitya why is akruti nitya if akruti is born out of shabda then that should be talked about what is talked about devadi utpatti so vyakti utpatti is there so the devadi vyakti utpatti is from shabda which is shabda that shabda which is nitya so shabda dar nitya devadi vyaktis are anitya but you are saying the sambandha is between the akruti devadi akruti and devadi shabdas so there you said nitya and nitya have nitya sambandha i have no objection there but devadi vyakti utpatti is there which is anitya utpatti utpatti of anitya utpatti of anitya devadi vyaktis is from vedas now you are saying vedas are nitya but what has happened is that by saying that devadi vyaktis are utpanna from vedas and devadi vyaktis being what anitya therefore devadehe anitya vigravat devadehe veda pravatva since they are born out of vedas now vedas will also become anitya so tad utpadaka vedasya api prabho prasangat and prabho if you say vedas also born then what will happen vedas will also become anitya so your pada itself is anitya now so now all object another way around i'll say how does an anitya pada have sambandha with whether nitya or anitya padartha how does it have nitya sambandha so with that bija in mind puro pakshi comes up with that question that vedas will also have utpatti prabha prasangat anichyatva and thereby anichyatvam aashankya ah atay eva chanichyatvam atay eva chanichyatvam so now <laughs> siddhanti uses this and says yes in fact this is the reason that vedas are nitya he says vedas are nitya that has been established by puro mimamsaka very well you go and refer to those says this siddhanti if not i'll give you another way to say that vedas are nitya why atayeva atah eva cha nityatvam then the siddhanti says that you are object to this but then this is this is become a this is become a hetu also for dridikarana of veda nityatvam अतः एव मीन्स अतः एव वेदवाक्यात अतः पंचमी एक वचन नॉट हेतव अस्मात एव वेदवाक्यात च नित्यत्व अतः सो यू कैन टेक अस हेतव ऑल्सो मी एद वेदवाक्यात एव देवादि प्रभवात च वेदस्य नित्यत्व सो दे एनी वेट्स अ शॉर्ट वृत्ति इट विल बी वेरी क्लियर अतः एव नित्य सो नियत नियत इज नित्य नियत आकृते हे देवादे हे जगतः वेद शब्द प्रवत्वाद एव वेदस्य नित्यत्वं प्रत्येतव्यम सो यू हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड इन दिस मैनर सेज दी सिद्धांति व्हेन वी टॉक अबाउट देवादि उत्पत्ति द आकृति इज नित्य बिकॉज़ देवास आर कार्ड आउट ऑफ सेम आकृति अगेन एंड अगेन यू सी सिमिलर काइंड ऑफ फॉर्म्स सो दे विल कम अप अगेन द नाम रूप इज सिमिलर across kalpas the nama rupas are similar it keeps on continuing till there is no jnana until there is no jnana 
their will, meaning Aikya Jnana and Mukti, the entire set of Kalpas will keep on going. So there will be Rama again, there will be Krishna again, there will be all these avatars, all of this will happen. But are they the same entities? They are not. The jivas are different. The avatarana is different, the jivas are different. Ravana jiva will be different, Kumbhakarana will be different. All these jivas may be different. And Bhagavan will take avatara in each and every such yuga. And it will keep on continuing. Brahma will come up and create Srishti. All of these will keep on taking avataras. There will be different kind of jiva bhava. And it, the Srishti and Stichi Laya will keep on continuing. It's a never ending samsara unless the samsari gets jnana and steps out of this cycle. So if at all there is samsara which is continuing, let it continue. The samsari becomes an asamsari by knowing his swarupa and steps out of that cycle. So let the Aneka Jeevavadi make an argument that the cycle continues, let it continue. The Jiva who has stepped out as Brahma by knowing his Swarupa does not care. Because he has nothing to care, there is nothing called as care. Whether as worry or for kind. It has, it has this samsara has nothing to do with him because the samsara itself does not exist for him. Let alone becoming a samsari and caring for it. So he has stepped out. And stepping out is figurative because Swarupata is already Brahma. He has never been a samsari because there has never been samsara. There is no samsara. Na bhuto na bhavishyati. Meaning it is trikala nisheda. Traikalika nisheda takes place. The samsara has traikalika nisheda for a jnani. So from the jnani perspective really from the one who is a jivan mukta. There is no harm in saying that there is tuchyattvam of samsara. Not mithyattvam. Mithyattvam is for a sadhaka. Or from a jnani who does not have sthirata in such a manner, who is not an uttama jnani. Uttama uttama jnani. Which is the general case. There, is, there won't be an uttama uttama jnani because such uttama uttama jnani won't have... Uh, may not have rather, not won't have, may not have interaction with the society, may not be able to interact with the society because there is nothing called as society for him. But from the onlookers perspective, there is prarabdha continuing for the jnani because the jnani sharira itself is a prarabdha, is prarabdha, including the antakkarna which is prarabdha and the interaction which goes on is also prarabdha. Anyway, that's an aside. But when you look at that perspective, as to what is really created and has nasha is the vyakti, but what is carved out of something that is nitya when we say, we still mean pravaha nityatva. The akruti is also created and folded back during kalpa. So, ateva niyata akruti he devade he. So, devadis who are vyaktis, who are anitya, who have Aniyata Vigraha, but the Akriti is Niyata. Akriti is Nitya. Therefore, Niyata Akriti he Devadi. So, Devadi is who have Niyata Akriti. They may have Aniyata Vigraha, but Niyata Akriti is what it is? It's a Bahuri to Devadi. So, Niyataha Akritayaha Yesham Devadi Nam. Te devadayaha niyata akrutayaha. Or in here it is in uh, singular because devadi has been used in singular. Jato ve kochana. So you can say niyata akrute uh, niyata akrutehe devade. You can say niyataha akrutayaha. Or you can say niyata akruti or singular also you can say yasya devad yasya devadehe. And then you can use neuter also and say tat devadi. But here it is devadi in uh, because devad niyata akrute uh, has been used. It can be you know neuter also because jatavek vachana generally you will have neuter. 
any which way it is a bahuri meaning what devadi who have niyata or nitya akruti and they are what basically niyata akrute he devade jagataha the entire it includes devadi is jagat really so jagata jagat is neutral so niyata akrute devade so devadi is also bahuri so when i say niyata akrute is bahuri devadi is not the anya padam sorry so niyata akrute he jagat so the jagat is niyata akruti and jagat which has deva in the adi so jagat if you look at there are two visheshanas niyata akrute he devade he so jagataha is shashti ek vachana and jagat being the pratipadika jagat is neuter so devade he dev devaha adihi yasya jagataha tad jagat devadi jagat then what is that it is also स्त्रीलिंग बट इन बहुरी नियताकृति इज नपुंसकिंग बिकॉज जगत इज नपुंसक सो नियताकृति हे देवादे हे जगत वेद शब्द प्रभवत्वा सिंस the jagat which includes devas also who have niyata akruti so jagat also can be taken as niyata akruti devadi also can be taken as niyata akruti because jagat also has a some kind of an akruti put together we may not be able to see anything but there is a map so either you take devadi as niyata akruti anya pada which is what i stated earlier that is a possibility which can be understood easier in a easier manner and jagat also can be taken because the devadi is jagat so you say devadi is anya pada for niyata akruti but devadi itself is an, has anya pada as jagat so all the all of them are samana adikaranyam so whichever you can understand as having a niyata akruti whether jagat has a niyata akruti or devadi has niyata akruti you can take niyata akruti to mean that word However, they are all in samana nikarni. If if we can't see how can jagat have nitya akruti, it's a changing jagat. Then we say okay, devadis. Do you agree that Indra has some form? You know, some forms are mentioned for Ganesha ityadi also. So we talk about some forms, and whichever Ishwara manifests in that form, you take even avatara purusha. There is no harm by saying that avatara purusha's body will have nasha. there may not be jeevatva bhava there may not be a jeeva kind of association because there is for avatara purushas there is no prarabdha it is samashti prarabdha some kind of samashti prarabdha it is not individual prarabdha jeeva prarabdha anyway but still the when the is that samashti prarabdha comes to an end then the akruti being nitya also the vyakti will have nasha there is an end to avatara purushas body also But then the akruti is nitya, and then say similar kind of a Rama ityadi will come up in the in some kalpa some time in each kalpa uh, rather in some yuga in in the next kalpa also, and has been happening you know since ever. Therefore, Veda shabda pravatvad pravatvade pravatvad eva Veda se nitya tom pratyetavyum. But what the argument is being made is that the the question of the puro pakshi is turned around on him as an answer saying that yes you are looking at a different perspective saying that since the devadi vyaktis are anitya and they are utpanna therefore vedas from which they have utpatti that veda will become anitya but i am saying that because these akrutis have also come up from which are nitya they have come from vedas if you do not understand the purva mimamsakas complex argument as to why vedas are nitya why shabda nityatvam then you take this do you agree that the akrutis are uh, nitya then you say akrutis are born from vedas because veda statements are there shruti and smriti statements are there then you take it that the the, the reason for the veda nityatvam is also this This is one of the reasons. If you understand this, it is sufficient. He says. <laughs> so the Siddhan he says, "Ata eva vedasya nityatvam pratyatavyam." 
But really, what is the argument given by the Miyu Amsaka? That is the next line. If you don't understand this, then at least you see that your argument is wrong. Because the Vigrahas may be Anitya, but Akriti is Nitya and Akriti is also Utpanna across Kalpas. It is has Pravaha Nityatvam and that Akriti has come up from, Nitya Akriti is also come up from Shabda because Nitya Akriti is not Shabda, is not Brahma. Everything other than Brahma is Utpanna. So that Akriti is also Utpanna. It is Nitya. Pravaha Nityatvam is there. So that has come from Vedas, that Veda also has Pravanityatam, you take it in this manner. But the real argument which is strengthened by this is Kartrasparanath Siddham Meva Veda Nityatam Anena Dridikritam Iti Bodhyam. So that Kartru Asmaranath, because nobody has claimed Kartrutram for Vedas. There is a Rishi Smarana, but is there a Karta Smarana? Kartru Smarana. No, there is Kartru Asmarana. The Karta is never recalled. Always when you talk about, when you chant any mantra, when some vidhi is followed, then the Rishi is to be recalled. Rishi, Chandas, all of these Devata, these should be recalled, there should be Dhyana, all that is there. But is there a Karta, the Karta of the mantra, the Karta of Veda mantra, isn't there? So, Kartra Asmaranath Siddham Meva Veda Nityatvam. A simple argument by Puru Mimamsaka as to Veda Nityatvam to all the Darshanikas other than Vaidika, meaning Baudha, Jainas, all of these come up with argument as to how can Vedas be Nitya. What do you say? What do you mean by Shabda Nityatvam? We say that Vedas have not been created, they have always been there. That's why they are the the only Pramana really for Shastra Pramana is the Pramana. In Adhyatmika Vishya, in Atindriya Vishya, in Atindriya Vishya there is only one Pramana that is Vedas alone. It cannot be anything else. Because all are Paurushya Granthas. Ours is Apaurushya. Why Apaurushya? Because there is nobody who has claimed it. The flaws in the in all Pramanas, there is a suspicion, there is a possible suspicion because it is Purusha. Why should there be suspicion? Because we know that no Purusha is perfect. Why even Avatara Purushas, we don't see perfectness there? Not everyone does. If we say, oh, Rama is perfect, then some other one will come up and say, no, Rama had his own flaws. We say Bhagavan Rama, but others need not see that. Why? Because they see Rama as a Purusha. And the flaws in the Purusha will apply to Rama also as, as in their perspective. A jaundiced eye sees the world yellow. So we human beings who have flaws see flaws in Avatara Purushas also because we see humanness there. And since any product, any work, any text has come up any statement has come from a Purusha, from a human being basically, we start suspecting it, we need another Pramana. Although all these are Svatak Pramana as per Vedantin, all Pramanas are Svatak Pramana. There is Svatak Pramanyam, not Paratak Pramanyam. We don't look for, we don't hunt for another source of uh, knowledge to validate one source of knowledge. When you are going on a, uh, on a trip, you are driving somewhere or you are you know, going somewhere, walking somewhere and you ask for a particular uh, address from a passerby, you don't suspect when he gives you a direction, especially when he says confidently. He talks as if he knows, then you say, oh, he knows, we just follow it. Unless there is, unless there is scope for doubt, you don't suspect. Unless there is a contradictory pramana to this pramana, Pramana is valid. So, since the confidence is there, the way he is talking, you consider it as an Aptavakya. You put your trust in a passerby also because you consider him as an Aptavakya. He has no reason to lie in your perspective. But generally what? For an address, you don't have to lose much. Unless you are tired from, you know, and you just have to crash somewhere. But otherwise, for all other Pramanas, what is the, in today's era at least, there is suspicion. 
Now, if, especially if it's a grantha written in the earlier year also, if somebody comes up with some grantha, you say this person has written it. Oh, this is a person, is it? I need to know about who the person is. So, we always look for sampradaya. In the grantha and a sampradayaka should always look for sampradaya. Is it a sampradayaka who is written? Then we can put some trust. Otherwise, we assume purushagata flaws to be there in the a purusha produced text also. If a human being has produced a text, the human flaws can or more or less will get into the text. So the gunas get in. Whether it is a good guna or a bad guna in the purusha, there is a very good chance that it will get into the text. Therefore, every purusha grantha is suspect to be flawed. And it will be flawed. From one perspective or the other, it will be flawed. There will be purusha doshas which will be the purusha purusha grantha. Purusha produce. It need not be grantha. It can be vakya. It can be whatever. So now, kartru asmaranath. And every purusha who has created a text will more or less have claimed it. If he has not claimed, it will be known in the sampradaya. Because our sampradaya is, we say it has come from Narayana or Dakshinamurti. When we do that sampradaya prayer, Sadashiva Samarambha has begun from Sadashiva. So it is an anavachinna sampradaya. In this unbroken lineage, Every teacher will tell the shishya, will teach and will teach with information that I have learned from this acharya, I have learned from this acharya. So if at all there is a creator, that creator will have taught and then that creator's name will come in. Before him that such a work wouldn't have existed. But we have no such thing because we have an unbroken lineage where nobody has claimed authorship for the, for the Vedas. Therefore what Kartra Asmaranath is a Hetu for Nityatvam of Vedas. So, Kartru Asmaranath Eva, Siddham Eva, so Siddham Eva, Kartru Asmaranath is a sufficient Hetu. Siddham Eva Vedanitatvam, but Anena, Anena what? This sutra that gives another reasoning, the Siddhanti gives to the Pura Pakshi, Dridi Kritam Miti, Bodhayam Kim Dridi Kritam, Vedanitatvam, Dridi Kritam. The Vedanitatvam, which is known by single Pramana, also becomes strengthened by some other logic. Now the question is Nanu Mahaprale Akrutehe Api Anityatva Shabdartha Sammandasya Anityatva Nirodha Tadavastha Eva Ityashankya Puro Pakshi says, we will look at the sutra in the next part, I will just give the introduction. Puro Pakshi says, what kind of argument are you making? Are you solving my question at all? Are you giving an answer to my question at all? You have not resolved anything. Why? Because Mahapralaya, this Akruti will also, you are saying that Akruti has Pravanityatvam, the Akruti will have Nasha. So then in Mahapralaya, in fact he is not talking about, uh, I, I have mentioned the uh, Pravanityatvam, but Pravanityatvam is not understood by the Puro Pakshi. Puro Pakshi says your Akruti is Nitya alright, but in Mahapralaya will Akruti be there. Then how is it Nitya? So we will come up with Pravanityatvam and explain this, but because Samana Nama Rupa will be talked about as Reasoning. So we will see that in the next part. But his objection is, is Akruti will have have Nasha in Nasha meaning Adarshana. It will be unmanifest. From the Vedanti's perspective, it will be folded back, it will be folded out also again. In Mahapralaya, will the Akruti be there? That is all that Puro Pakshi is asking. If you say no, then Anitya Akruti is also Anitya. If Akruti is Anitya, then how will your Shabda be? Nitya, how will your Shabda Sambandha, Pada Padartha Sambandha be Nitya. So that we will see in the next part. Amnayati Samsiddha Mahadi Madhyanta Varjitam Ananda Ganamapu Atma Jyoti Rupasumahe Namaste. Dhanyavana. Namaste.